Okay, what up ladies and gents, I'm here to teach you guys the mid-game loadout for bugs, alright? So if you guys enjoy the loadout videos that I've done, this is the kind of loadout that will actually help you with both randoms and friends. Now my gaming footage is with friends, alright? But I demonstrate the effectiveness of all the different strategies and I'm going to explain them to you really quickly so you can understand why I made certain choices and I'm also going to teach you about some alternatives that you can bring along for your mid game runs. Mid game is up to difficulty 6 so from difficulty uh, 4 to 6 all right and this loadout is guaranteed to work in all of them but it does have some limitations all right let's get into the details now we'll start with the stratagems and I'm going to teach you everything else so here we go camera vanish and let's talk about it okay so system test. Going to the stratagems, here's what you're going to need. For your support weapon, you want the recoilless rifle, okay? You've got two options here, either the auto cannon or the recoilless rifle. Both are excellent for mid-game, but I really recommend the recoilless rifle because this will help you open up the front leg of the crusher, which you can then shoot with your primary weapon and then absolutely destroy it. This will be seen in the combat demonstration shown later. You can also open up Bile Titan armor, allowing everybody to shoot the exposed part of its body and therefore kill it really fast. All right, so the recoilless rifle is your friend. You don't even need somebody else to reload you. It's a lot slower to reload it by yourself, but you can carry your own backpack, allowing your team to utilize whatever strategies they want to bring to bear. Okay, so the recoilless rifle is your support weapon of choice and carry the backpack yourself. It takes long to reload, yes, but um, trust me, you should not be firing this rapidly anyway because there's a lot of other ways to deal with stuff. And it's much more important to deal with stuff in alter using alternative methods as you go higher up in the game. Okay, next. For your orbital cannons, the airburst strike is your best friend. Please grab this airburst strike. Whenever there's a bug breach, this is going to save you. Throw it on a bug breach and watch everything get absolutely annihilated. All right? Airburst strikes are your friend. I use and abuse them all the time against bug breaches, and it's really simple because the command is just, if I'm not wrong, right, 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 right. So it's really easy to throw in a pinch. Now, this is all for your orbital cannons. You can bring along an orbital laser, but I can't remember whether it's level 15 or level 10 that you unlock this. I believe it's level 15. So if you do not have this, then do not bring it along. Bring something else along. Like You can even bring along, if you really want to, the 380mm barrage, but there are other choices like Eagle Airstrike, whatever. Um, the orbital laser is a good option, though. You can only use it three times during the match, but it's abs and it's a, fi a five-minute cooldown in between uses. But if you see a Ball Titan... This is going to be your saving grace. Usually our team always brings along at least two to three orbital lasers. They are just so good during the match. Okay, for your eagles, there are two main eagles. One is the Napalm Airstrike. This is absolutely fantastic against bugs. All right, please use this whenever there's a bug breach. Whenever there's a bug breach, drop the Napalm on them and have a good time. This is what it is used for. It is absolutely excellent. The other one is the Eagle Airstrike. The Eagle Airstrike can help you close nests. And also, it can be pretty good for dealing with a horde of clumped up bugs. Uh, again, most people would throw it on a breach, but that's what the napalm is for. So, it's up to you whether or not you want the airstrike. Like I said, if you've got the laser, you can bring the laser instead of the airstrike. It's really your choice. But if not, you can bring the cluster bomb. Cluster bombs are absolutely excellent for dealing with low armor value targets. However, what I'm going to say is that the AoE of this thing is huge. So... Although you've got four uses, the problem is that you may frag your entire team. So be very, very careful with the cluster bombs. This and the napalm are two main methods of horde clear. But if you're going to use these two for horde clear, I would recommend something like the 380mm. Hell, even the walking barrage might be better. Although I really never use this. If I, if I was going to do anything, I, I'd take a 380mm because uh, it covers a wide area. It's pretty useful and it's great for big nests. But... You can also use the 120, I guess, over a small area. Really, really your choice here, but you don't really want to have air burst, napalm, and then cluster because that's all horde clear. You have nothing for the heavier targets. So if you're going to go that way, you may as well take another eagle airstrike. Your eagle will have to use up all its weapons before rearming, or you can rearm it, but just remember, just remember that when it says rearming, it rearms all your weapons. You can't rearm it after using two airstrikes, all right? Um and then use your cluster bomb. That's not going to happen. So just be very careful with that. All right. So these are a lot of the choices you have for mid game. But my personal preference, Napalm Air Strike, Air Burst Strike, and Orbital Laser. This sets you up for heavies, mediums, lights, everything. All right. You've got everything you need in your set. Now, there are, some, there are still other alternatives. The 
Mortar Sentry is a well-known alternative that is absolutely effective against everything. You can use it against bugs, you can use it against automatons, it is beautifully strong and powerful, but here's the one downside, you may frag your team. Okay, the Mortar Sentry has absolutely excellent range and it is very useful for assaulting bases. Um, I absolutely love this thing. It is so good. If I need a base assaulted, this is what I bring, this is what I put down. Okay, it is devastating. It is devastating in most situations and will absolutely destroy your opponents at range. So don't hesitate to use this. It's got a fairly long bombing range and it is great. You can just put it down behind a rock or something. But the problem is that if your teammates are running up or if the enemy is running up onto you, you can get fragged by the mortar and the mortar may frag your teammates. So be very careful with this one. It is a tactic that needs to be used with caution. Okay? Alright. Um, and the other option that some people like to use is the EMS mortar, but this is kind of an end game option. And all it does is disable targets. It's mostly used against automatons. You won't see much use for it against the bugs, and it can be um, pretty lackluster. It also slows down your team. If somebody happens, happens to run away from a crusher and goes through the EMS field, they're going to get slowed down and die. So, much like the Morta Sentry, this can create some team frags, and you want to be careful. But the mid-game loadout does give you some interesting options. I've tried mines. I've tried a lot of the other stuff. does not work. These options that I've given you are the best of the best, and they will work absolutely fantastically. All right, in terms of ship modules, you should have most of the basic ones, at least the first level ones, okay, across the board. Um, the second one, if you don't have them, that's okay. All right, now that about covers it for stratagems. I know that was a long explanation, but I hope that this is detailed enough to explain why we do certain things. Now I'm gonna teach you guys about the armory loadout. Again, sorry it took so long on the stratagems. You guys need to know, you guys need to understand. So for your armory loadout, here's what I like to use. For me personally, in the mid game, the breaker is the ideal choice. If you do not yet have the premium war bond, that's okay. The breaker incendiary is better against bugs than the breaker, but I use the breaker because it is a fantastic choice if you don't have the breaker incendiary. All right, the breaker has a lower capacity than the breaker incendiary, so do keep that in mind as well. The breaker incendiary, in my opinion, is the superior weapon. Even against automatons, I enjoy using the incendiary breaker. But the breaker itself is one of the best weapons in the game right now. The runner-up is the Dominator, but again, this is from the Premium War Bond, and it's literally on the third page, so not everybody has it, and not everybody likes it. It is a medium armor penetrating jet-propelled round, and if you fire it up close, it will not propel, so it does less damage. There is a there is kind of like a minimum range that you have to fire it at, so it can be a bit difficult to use. But the Dominator can be very strong in the right hands. Okay, for me personally, I'm an up-close-and-personal kind of guy, so the Breaker and the Incendiary Breaker are my choices. Against the bugs, if you've got the Incendiary, use it. For your Secondary, the Redeemer is your ultimate choice. The Senator and the Peacemaker are not as good, and the Senator is definitely a terrible choice because it's a round-based reload. All you get for this are cool points, and the third party, the third person aiming is horrendous. So the Redeemer is your best choice. Make sure that when you go into the field, you set the fire rate to semi-automatic. Grenades, you can use the High X. The Incendiary Grenade is also a choice. I don't have it unlocked yet, but the High X is generally my choice for dealing with nests, bugs, whatever. Incendiary is pretty good against bugs, and it can take out nests, or so I've heard. I haven't tested that, but what I can say is that High X is still my choice, all right? I, if I need to, if I need a more immediate explosion, what I'll do is I'll just cook the grenade for like one or two seconds. The fuse timer is 3.5 seconds. Then I'll just throw it where I need it to explode, kind of like the impact, so so I can Kobe it into holes easily and into automaton factories. But I can also hold it, cook it if I really need to, and then throw it for a shorter timer. You get used to this as you play the game. So that is basically my loadout for mid game. All right, I'm sorry that it took about nine minutes to explain all that, but. Now, we're going to move on to the gameplay footage. If you guys like my content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And the gameplay demonstration is included in this video, so you guys can check that out and see how we run this exact build, all right, in a live combat situation, all right? It is taken from stream, so I apologize for the stream overlay being there, but it was the best way to get footage, you know, without going through, because right now there's a lot of matchmaking issues, and I really don't want you guys to be waiting on these builds and loadouts when I already know what's effective. So I figure I'd share my knowledge early. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, sh don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mistake right there. All right, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good day now. Bye bye. Right now. Okay, so ladies and gents, what I'm going to show you is my mid-game loadout. Don't worry. This this footage is separated from the actual explanation footage, so it should be fine. Um, I'm just going to go with since we got four different hell divers, I'm going to just put in a few different boosts. 
But basically, when you're mid-game against the bugs, the first and most important thing that you're going to need is you are going to need to sacrifice a little bit. Make sure you carry the recoilless, because if you don't have the railgun, crushers are going to be a problem. So get yourself a recoilless. The next thing that you're going to need is horde clear, okay? And when it comes to horde clear, nothing is better than the air burst strike. I generally choose the air burst strike. If you don't have that, get the gatling, but the air burst strike, usually efficient. Otherwise, cluster bombs, but cluster bombs can result in a lot of team frags. So be very careful. It's up to you how you want to do it. But when it comes to bug breaches, I take the air burst. Okay. So after that, what else can you get to make your life a little bit easier? All right. In general, what I would do is if you have it unlocked, grab the orbital laser. I believe that this is unlockable mid game. Okay. And you're also going to want an eagle stratagem. Now, if you have other people in your team, there's going to be a lot of grenades to close up bug holes. So what I tend to do is I tend to worry more about bug breaches. So in which case I will take the eagle napalm airstrike. All right. So it depends on what you need. Otherwise, take the eagle airstrike to help close up nests. And this is basically uh, what you'll be using. This is a pretty good mid-game loadout to focus on horde clear as well as devastating damage against armored targets so i'm actually filming this while live on stream so i hope everybody will enjoy it as well all right here we go dropping in now apparently our, this this arcane man not ready he hasn't hit the button all right <laughs> this guy Isa, Isa, Palo. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, as soon as you get in, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drop the recoilless, pick up the backpack yourself. You do not need somebody else to carry it. Okay, you can pick up the backpack yourself, reload on your own. But I'm going to show you the tricks for dealing with the crushers, ball titans, hopefully throughout this, so it should be all good. All right. One other, th one other thing that you should need to remember is do not, okay? Do not um, alert patrols. Okay, I'm also using the normal breaker for my loadout. All of this will be covered. I'm not using the incendiary breaker because uh, I know some of you may not own that. Okay. Apparently, Liberty is not saving somebody. Okay. <laughs> that was me. You will want to go toward things that are glowing yellow. And then orient yourself on the map. Alright. Ooh, super credits right off the bat. Mm, this is starting out as a good mission. Alright, first things first, we're going to head for Dropping this bug pin. nest. So I usually drop a pin, and then after that, what I do is I zoom in on the map. I avoid most patrols, okay? You want to avoid most patrols because every time you get hit by a patrol, you're going to get in trouble. Now, you see that illegal broadcast station over there? You can actually target it with recoilless right now. So I'm just going to fire that. And there we go. Objective complete. Alright. So you can complete the objective early like that. If you see a bug breach somewhere, uh, you, you probably want to deal with that. Now, when you've got a crusher coming in, okay, target the leg. As soon as it's legged, all right, you can you can just literally target that leg and the crusher will die. This is one of the easiest ways to kill crushers. So this one's been legged. All right, there you go, it's dead. Now, where you can, always reload. Alright? Oh. Calling in oh, reinforcements! Calling in reinforce. Now, when you see spitters and the like, you generally will have to leave them to your teammates or take them on yourself. If you're taking them on yourself, you may want a railgun instead. But usually, for most people and teams, you can take them out with a little bit of coordination. Alright? Okay, great. There is... A big bug nest over there so shall we go in the direction of the pin and we'll go take out that bug nest behind me oh you're coming behind me all right all right so the big bug nest is over here now when I see a bug nest what I usually do is depending on on needs okay I'll usually try and throw some kind of napalm strike Don't forget to reload your guns like me. If you see a charger, this will be your job as the Devastator. I'll usually blow off the armor on one leg like that, and then the charger dies. Real plain and easy. 
then the other stuff you have to leave it to other people. All right. But most people bring stuff that can deal with everybody else, so you don't have to worry too much. Your priority will be getting rid of charges and like. Don't be afraid to call in a resupply whenever necessary. So. I'm gonna call in a 500 kg bomb. Okay. Good luck. Make sure it kills those things, yeah? If it doesn't, I'll be very upset. Sometimes you will encounter people that will have 500 kilogram bombs. And did it do anything? Nope, not a single hole closed. Yeah, it doesn't close holes. Now get in there and get grenades out. Don't forget resupplies over here. All right. So as the recoilless guy, make sure you're always loaded with one recoilless. You can leave a lot of other stuff to your teammates, mostly because most people know how to play the game. And what they don't prepare for is actually for armored targets. That's why I bring this from a mid-game loadout. Um, okay, we have cleaned this up. Next one is here. Yep. There's an artillery along, along my path. It's a sub-objective. So you see a subjective, make sure you do it. Because if you don't do it, I will be sad. Well, you'll be sad too, but I'll be sadder. Okay. There's also a trick that Phil taught me. Uh, I haven't uploaded it. I've got separate footage for that. But basically, if you continuously press the interact button while carrying a shell, you'll just move faster by dragging and dropping it. So let's say I've got this explosive one. What I usually do is I'll bring all the stuff here first. You should bring it to the oh. Package acquired. Okay. Dropping package. Now oh, while no, somebody Ooh, takes. Stalker. Oh. Okay. Sorry, VVS, we're gonna have to abandon first because stalkers are a priority. If somebody yells out stalker, yes. then then you need to take that out ASAP. Alright. Stalker nest will be somewhere around here. Uh I'm gonna check this area toward the east. It looks like a lone nest. It might just be the thing. Remember, stalkers are always the biggest priority for any character. Why? Because they're dangerous. Yep, this is it. This is it. I think it. Yep, I see a stalker. Stalker's out. Nice. Oh, don't, don't shoot at me. Don't shoot at me. I got this. Okay, now we can head back to the artillery. Stalkers are a major priority, guys. Um, for anyone that's watching this video later, always kill stalkers first. Because they will they will literally cost you tens of reinforcements if they are not taken out immediately. Because they are invisible, and they have very, very high DPS. So they will mess you up. Oh. Get caught in someone's EMS, it's okay. Just, just take it slow. Um, ooh, still getting caught on the EMS. Why? What small annoying creature is here sorry phil could you throw out a um resupply at the uh place when you get there it's on cooldown yeah it'll be off cooldown right now just some seconds dropping package okay i can do it actually i just got him i see phil's carrying it go go ahead you can carry oh you need to show the trick oh no i can i showed the trick earlier but yeah Okay, load up the artillery. It'll save you a few seconds, but honestly, it's useful. All right. It's clear. Hey, there's one more. Okay. Now we're gonna head toward the east. There's a bug nest over there. Now, of course, I think uh, they've learned their lesson. You know, 500 kilogram bomb ain't gonna do nothing. All right, save that for when it's a bug breach and then drop it on the bug breach and give them a little exercise in foobarness. All right, I'm gonna throw the air burst into the center. So be careful. Use a grenade launcher from distance. Watch out for the mini nuke. Yep, I see the UXO. Okay. I legged it. So. Ending an eagle. 
Throwing in Nabomb. Already killed them all with grenades. Doesn't matter. Oh my god. Okay. It wasn't me. I didn't throw anything. What do you mean? Oh, it wasn't me. It was the bug. Huh? If BBS you focus the spitter, I'm just reloading my recallers. This charge is stuck up here, so I'm gonna. Are dead. Yep. Yeah, can someone do this? Uh, the nests? Or, uh, okay. Yeah. Whoever's, whoever's got the grenade launcher, start hitting up those nests. Yep. Phil, what are you carrying? Railgun, right? Yes. Okay, railgun, railgun will always take care of spitters. I've got this one. Yep. Go shoot it. Okay, great. Now let's try not to alert any patrols and head for the uh, northeast. And I say that in alert patrol. Lovely. Okay, I see yellow. Oh my god, I see a UXO there. Wait, wait, hold on. Before anyone moves over there, can I detonate that UXO? Beautiful. Now, if there's a charger on its way, um, I can leg it straight away. Okay, it should be legged. Annihilate. Were you just shooting ox at that instead of your shoddy? This <laughs> arcane and his love for arc. This arc man. Arc uh, survival. Evolution. Arc survival. Is that the, <laughs> the real rock formation? Uh, no, this is only extreme. It won't, it won't be here. Got a sample. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just showing the mid game to people. I have no more ammo. Ah, I can order resupply. Hold on, I need to resupply. My recoilless has no ammo. If you guys see ammo there, let me know. Ah, there is one. Nice. It'll only restore one rocket, but hey, that works. Okay, resupply is coming in. Anyone else need supplies? Reloading. Otherwise, I'll take them. I'll fill up my backpack. Okay. Oh, you're using a supply backpack? Mm -hmm. Bruh. <laughs> I didn't know. Okay, next time, I'll, next time I'll just yeah, I'll just ask you for uh, I'll ask you for the supplies. <laughs> all right, all right. We got a nest ahead of us. Let's clear it. Hey, Kathy. And how do you acquire leather in Pal World by murdering certain pals? They'll give leather. And no problem, ask away, ask away. Fire away, fire away. Gotcha. Oh, lovely. Okay, so when it comes to the Bile Titan, here's what you gotta do. Blow a hole in the shell, and then cry. Now, some people prefer to do it whereby they, um, they hit the head twice with the recoilless. I... I'm not as skilled enough for that, so. I usually blow off the leg armor and all that. Two recoilless. One on the body, one on the leg. That's usually good enough. And if you really have to, drop an orbital laser on it. But in this case, others already dropped theirs, so I'm not going to do a double drop for no reason. Oh, come on. Okay, so that bug breach, whenever there's a bug breach, I always throw my napalm and I always throw my air burst. This is to ensure that, you know, hordes are cleared as fast as possible. If there are spitters assaulting your teammates, please assist them. That's it. That's it. Yeah, have some liberty. Ooh, 500 kill grand bomb. Okay. You just had to clear the area, didn't you? <laughs> okay, bug breach clear. BVS and his yes. 
Okay, there's a bug nest north of us. Let's clean that up, and we'll head toward the subjective. There are samples? I, I think I saw some samples around. You know you can always count on me, Kathy. That's because I'm just three cool, five school. Okay, yep, go ahead and grab samples if you guys want to. I'm just going to check out this nest and see if it contains stuff that I can eat. It does not. There's no food at this nest. I'm sad now. Is that a nest or is this a nest? What? I'm confused now. The hell is this shit? This is a nest. Okay, hold on, hold on. I accidentally blew myself up. Hopefully I'm not dead, but still. Stupendous dive. Glory. Ah. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. What the? How is this guy not dead? The spitter is just like, oh dude, I finally got acid spat on at close range. Spitter up here. Ah, I can't tag it. What do you mean? It wasn't me? What? Is this what it says? <laughs> I don't trust the game. Why, why, why you guys always blame me? I don't know. What did you do? The game tells us it's you. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> Phil is just Phil is just uh, Phil blamed. I don't know, but what I do know is that there is a very, very angry creature over there. And I may yet die. Ah, there is. Maybe it's a mortar? Is it? No, he's got the EMS mortar. It can't be. Got the samples back. That's what I'm saying. It's not me. <laughs> Okay, gonna get rid of this. Oh, come on. Don't tell me that did not go in the hole. That's rude. There we are. Okay, great. Sorry, BBS, could you supply me when you can? I'm behind you. See ya, see ya. This is extraction, but why is it showing? <clears throat> showing like weird bug nesty things here. No, oh, doesn't matter. Is there a bug nest here? Calling down a sentry. What is that rat stuff? I don't know. What I do know. Sub objective near your location. Still there. Requesting air support. <laughs> I'm gonna napalm the. Uh... Oh, this is the objective. I'm just gonna blast it. It seems it needs more blasting. Yep. Please do. Just as long as you don't blast me in the process, buddy. I don't know how much more blasting I can do. Ooh, okay, 500 kilogram bomb. Yeah. Freedoms. This this game is so. Ooh, I'm on fire. This game has so much liberty and democracy right now. Okay, you know what? Here, another one. Air burst. Don't don't approach it yet. <laughs> Just in case. In fact, you know what? Okay, no more spawning. I'll throw this in a different direction because I can't cancel it once I'm once it's in my hand. Okay, freedom completed.
Okay. Um, now we've got to activate the fuel pumps, so... On it. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Okay. I got this. Ha. There we go. Got it. Mario Party complete. Okay, we just gotta have all three fuel pumps done. Fire in the hole! I need to kill you for my objective. You, come here. <laughs> Found something. Okay, 1B is done, 1A and 2A are the only ones left. Okay, just two A. Okay, clear. It's transferring. So now we can go straight to the fuel station. Dropping a pin west. Clear. Let's go. Making progress. Ah, oh, my favorite. Okay, Charger, you have no more leg. Leg. Oh, bunker. Yep. Okay, hold on. Uh, supply me BVS when you can. On the way. Okay, thank you. They're coming to... Ooh, little spitter. Yeah, you can cancel them, but not while they're in your hand. I've tried it already. So if you go into the throwing animation, you cannot cancel them. You can only cancel them before you go into the throwing animation. Just remember that. So you're absolutely right. You can cancel. You can you can cancel your strikes, but just remember not while you're in the throwing animation. Reloading. Okay, finishing my reload. Okay, you're touching those spitters. Let me know if anything good. Got a sample. Yeah, there's a container here. Okay, good. Yeah, super credits. we know shifting gears. Okay, UXO here. Nice. No nice, super credits make me happy. I need to buy more armors. Okay, I'm going. I'm continuing to scout ahead. Patrol behind. Northeast. That's okay. Ignore patrol if it's not attacking you. I'm just heading straight for that nest. Marking location. South. Uh, is this container site? Theoretically is. All I got is a rare sample, but meh. Alright. Okay, we have shredded that. Heading toward the nest. A place of there. place of minor interest near the nest. Just having fun there. <laughs> Spitter to the left. If it's not attacking, ignore it. If it is attacking, well, show it some liberty. There's a patrol of spitters coming in, and one is just chilling on point over there. Endorsement. Eh, it's fun. Yes. Yeah, Wait, there's Napalm yeah. coming down. Napalm coming down. Yeah. Always gotta have a little bit of Napalm, you know? Okay. 
Okay, I'm just gonna have a look around, because why were these people here? Found something. Oh, okay. Okay. Requesting orbital. Damn, how many lasers y'all want to drop on these poor things? All of them. <laughs> you guys are wild. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got hit by direct mortar strike. Oops, sorry, sorry. I may have accidentally tossed a grenade. My apologies. Actually, wait, we haven't used the artillery yet. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna try and get it on that nest. Trying out the artillery. Well, that got rid of one. Nice. Okay, nest is clear. Ammo here for those that need it. Uh, north is another nest, so. Okay, I'll leave that to you guys. Sorry, these nerds spotted me. There's a bio type this way. Ooh, my favorite. All right. Heavy, northwest, close. Pulling in orbital inbound. Blew up its body. Reloading. Requesting air support. Oh, come on. Valentine's down. Nice. Bags empty. Ooh, spitters on me. Heli Thank you. Now, charger. There it is. No oh, spitter. Dash darn it. Ooh. I'm okay. I'm okay. Other. That's okay, I liked it. Gonna napalm that. Reloading. Where the napalm? Oh, hell. I'll throw you down where you died. No worries. In oh. Uh, I died. <laughs> you sounded so sad about I, it. I'm sad. I, I saw the grenade go down into the bug hole, but mm -hmm. for some reason it didn't. And uh, it blew me up. <laughs> That's okay. I got you. I'm just gonna help clear the nest a little bit first, cause uh, yeah. Oh. oh. Artillery, look up, look up. Oh, 
gold as a bio type. Okay. And it's still trying to get into a position for a shot. Shot opening him up. It's down. Yep. The hole is angled, so we're going to have to shoot from over here instead. I'm bringing two chargers to you guys. Oh, gee, thanks for the present, Phil. <laughs> Oh, come on. Um, the matchmaking, I am still playing. I'm playing with friends currently, so I can't really comment. Um, I don't really use the normal matchmaking in the game, so I do apologize for being unable to answer your question. It's because I've got a whole community that's in into this, so. Oh. Run. Let me see if I can get the grenade in there. I got it, I got it. But I may need some help. Hi. Want it? Oh, I've got no stems. Oh. Okay, BBS can just okay. fly me when you can. Yeah, yeah, take it, take it. Thank you. Okay, we're all good, we're all good. There's a patrol coming around. I believe we probably have to hit the objective after this. Um, I got its leg, and there's Spirit of Mortars coming in. I got its body instead, okay. Can you guys pick this up? Wait, what's that? Oh, I didn't get supplied. Shit. Uh, yep, yep. I, I will in a moment. I need. I have nothing on me right now, so it's too dangerous for me to go in. Might be bugged. I can't pick it up. No, it's okay. Then, then just leave it. Honestly, I don't really need sandals. So. Poor Phil. He died. You've already got him. Did you need yep. If there are samples in there. Pick up your samples. Yeah, yeah, so it might be bugged because it's not even showing on my map. It happens. They probably fall through the map. That makes a lot of sense. It's right here. No, as in like, the game oh, is registered well. as falling through the map. Okay, heading for objective since we only got nine minutes. It is 100% bugged, Rena. Okay. <laughs> yes, you can use the official Discord if you so really need people to find them. I know. Near your position. But then again, not the first time it's happened to us, unfortunately. I really just don't like the railgun. Don't like it? Don't like it. I like That's because you are a weirdo who uses arcs, man. <laughs> like, you know. I, I love it. The railgun is so I, strong. I tried it. It's so good. It one taps. It one taps uh, almost all boys. of these, yeah. This is good. This so. is okay, where's 1A? Anyone see 1A? Uh, uh, somewhere here. Oh, you found it? Okay, great. He's got it. Heading back to terminal. I got the terminal. Reloading. Okay, fuel transport shuttle is incoming. Parking location. Stalker. Where? Just killed one right here. Okay, that, that yeah, must be the stalker nest. That must be the stalker nest. Can you make Another your way stalker. there? Yeah, can you make your way there, BVS? I'm trying not to. I killed the stalker. Okay, locking the fuel pump. Yep, it is over there. It is over there, guaranteed. I see it. Near where the bug breach is. There's a lone nest over there. Oh, damn. Calling you back in here. Don't worry. I'll handle the shuttles and all that. Y'all just go get that stalker nest. Yeah. It's, it it's in the ground. Parking location. South. It's literally yeah, south of your position. There. There. Oh, shit. I've got 
Three spy waiting for you guys at base. Sometimes when your team is uh I'm at the nest. I'm trying to get it. Sometimes when your team is doing stuff, you'll just have to clear objectives on your own, so make sure you can survive. Nice. Got it. Okay, transferring in progress. There's one left alive. Yep, just murder it. It's transferring the fuel. Come on, come on, come on. Releasing the fuel hose. Full supply chest here for you guys. I've taken one. Okay. Now we can leave. Like this guy. Yep, coming, coming, coming. Reloading. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah. Even a railgun can do it. Railgun just requires two shots. Only reason I'm not showing that here is because I'm doing a mid-game loadout video. Yeah, oh, crud. Okay, we gotta go to extraction, so east. That's called democracy. Run with both legs, bro. Run with both legs. I'll run with one leg. How dare you! Don't make me call Greta the How Dare You. Phil is going toward the loot. He sees it. He needs it. I respect it. Arcane going straight for extraction. Good. If, if there's a breach, just get to... Um, actually, get to Phil. If you can. Because you have supplies. I'll head with Arcane to the thing because I'm less useful. Bug reaches all the way at the previous objective. I think yeah, okay. then then don't worry too much about it. We only need to worry if the bug breaches at the extraction. Then we can start panicking. Oh yeah. Let's charge right in. Proceed to extraction when ready. Bring him, bring him to extraction. We'll take him with us. We'll extract the charger as well. Well, they don't see me. Okay, good. Otherwise, we'll just extract with the charger. Take him, take him home, and call him Jim. Oh, 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 hell. Really? I am so sorry. I have alerted a entire patrol of angry people. I have called down the telegram bomb. On me? Brother, brother, why would you do that? This guy. Since that's the bug breach, there goes the napalm. Um, Supplies will be here in 16 seconds. I'm just gonna wait for the supplies. Two, one, come on. Reloading. ETA T minus three minutes. I made it inside. Woo.
Dude, there's this one spitter down here. He's armored as heck, but he's just refusing to die. Oh, charger. There he goes. Quickly reloading my gun. Some uh, artillery spitters on the other side of this rock. Well, you're the one to deal with them. I specialize only in the heavies. That's the way. That's the way. Make him regret. That would be about right. Covering you guys. You just call the bug breach. Where? Oh, I see it. Well then. Sending in an eagle. Sending in an eagle. Bags empty. How'd you like to taste the freedom? Aha. Oh crap. Stop the time. Lol. I think I shot a grenade in its mouth. Either way, good job. Okay. BVS, supply me. Sir. Thank you. Oh no. Our last 30 seconds. No laser, no strikes. Just me and this one big rocket. What if I don't wanna what if I don't wanna clear the landing zone? What do I do then? Okay. One day, I mean, when it's not a super serious situation, I gotta try. I wanna shoot down the shuttle. <laughs> See if it'll work. What happens if I shoot a, like, a recoilless at it, you know? I tried it, it doesn't work. <laughs> Did you feel it tried it already? I tried it a long time ago. Yeah. And I missed that charger. Bye. Everybody saw that stupendous miss? Alright. I got my footage. Woo. Liberty has seen you through. Full team extracted. Nice, how's your uh, download going? Good, good. I finished the tutorial already. Okay, nice. We can introduce Nisk to the game now. But for now, ladies and gents, that's the mid-game loadout. This goes up to extreme, but just remember that you can't do everything by yourself once you get to this level, unless you got a railgun. I'll have a solo loadout posted on another day, alright? Thank y'all very much. Catch you later.